Hello, this is Brian Chin, and thank you for watching this video. And today I'm going to be talking about if a guppy is pregnant. And the pregnancy process is, of course, when a female becomes pregnant by the male by him inserting a sperm packet via his breeding fin, which is called the gonopodium fin. And you can see this um, fin that's underneath the male, and it flips up as he chases the female, and then he inserts the sperm packet that way. If he is successful, then, and the eggs are fertilized, and it takes four to six weeks to give birth, and it's really temperature dependent. So if a fish is at 78 to 80 degrees temperature, she could have babies in four weeks. But if it's much lower, 68 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, then it can take up to six weeks for her to give birth. As the babies develop and grow, the female belly widens and deepens because the babies are growing inside of her. When ready to be born, the babies drop back of the belly and it's often in the belly becomes, instead of rounded, be starts to become more flat and full. And people often call this squaring off and that she's ready to give baby soon. Now let's take a head view of the female at different stages. Now at this stage here, you can tell she's very slim and she's either not pregnant or if she was, you know, recently bred, it'll, she's about four weeks, four to six weeks away. Now here, you can see she's starting to widen. So it looks like she's pregnant, but you know, it could be also too that she had a full meal. But if she stays this way, then it looks like there's good signs that she's pregnant. Then if here, you can tell she's definitely pregnant. She's getting full and she's getting very close to giving birth. So looking at this female, it's really hard to tell if she's pregnant or not. You can see some fullness here and the grab spot looks, you know, there's some darkness there maybe that may be caused by the embryos with eyes forming. But if she is pregnant and she stays this way, she's about two or three weeks away from having babies. Now this female, she's definitely pregnant. And she's about one week or less from giving birth. And I think this particular female, she did give birth in about, I think about two days. So she was very close. And as you can see here, you know, she's getting very full and her belly, instead of being rounded, is starting to flatten out. The babies are dropping back here, ready to be delivered. So this is flattening out, and also people call it squaring off. So there's some additional ways on checking if the female is pregnant. The first thing you can do is look at the female's gravid spot area, and that's at the back of the belly, and look at it in the morning when most of the food is expelled. If it's clear pink, then you know the female's not pregnant. If it's pink with embryo eyes, then you know the female's pregnant. And those are the eyes that are forming. And then as the baby continues to form inside the egg, its body starts to color up. And if it's like a half black, has half black genetics, it will appear to be very dark in there. And then if it's blonde, though, then it's more light. 
and it's more of a golden type color that you will see and if the fish is albino it may still be pinkish or kind of whitish but you still see the embryo eyes and another way is to put the female in a small container carefully and put a light behind her so you can better view the gravid area and here I put a female in a small container with some back lighting and some front lighting also and as you can see you can see in this area the little black dots which are eyes the embryo eyes so here's some reasons why that you may think that the female is pregnant but she really is not one way is that a female after she's had a big meal and she's eaten a lot of food it expands the belly and it may look like she's getting pregnant but she really isn't and if you just wait till the next morning when all the food is pretty much expelled her belly is not as full and it has shrunk back down and also during the day when she's eaten a lot of food it's the digested food starts moving back towards the gravid spot and it darkens it and you may think those are embryos developing but it really isn't and again the next morning when the food's gone you'll see that it's just a clear pink color in the gravid area and if a female hasn't bred for a long time the eggs are infertile or not viable so they'll never be able to be fertilized the female eventually will expel them and what happens is like giving birth all those eggs will drop back and then that indication like I mentioned before of it flattening out or squaring off it will look that way but it'll be still clear but the day after she expels all the eggs her belly is shrunken way down and if there's no fish or no snails in the tank you'll see all these clear eggs on the bottom but the female that means she'll be developing new eggs if she's still a fairly young female and then those eggs will be viable and can be bred Now, if you're interested in knowing more about breeding guppies, I do have a book on breeding show guppies, and it's offered through Amazon.com. I also have a book on genetics for guppies, if you want to have a deeper understanding on how to breed guppies. And that's also sold by Amazon.com. And visit my website at guppywest.com and it talks a little bit more about my books. And I have lots of guppy photos, especially of at guppy shows. And I have some informative articles. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel. This way you can be notified of future videos that I will post. And thank you.